Okay, classical information is information we can share because it's like a written yeah, word that we can kind of show around. I cannot show around what I'm feeling right now to yeah. all of you. So the moment yeah. I speak a word, mm -hmm. I've made a feeling I had, uh, into, I've turned it into classical information. That's yes, right. right. You take something which is private, can only be represented by quantum information. But the representation is not what you feel. The representation of reality is not reality, okay? So what you feel, only you feel not body, you feel, and you know inside. And what you can say about what you feel is a small part of what you feel. Olivo's theorem, one bit per quantum bit. And the quantum bits are entangled, so they have states in common, with the bits don't have states in common. A zero or one, there is nothing else. But quantum bits may have states in common, meaning that the two probabilities are connected. You have to describe the quantum state in Hilbert space, which is an n-dimensional space, where the dimensions are complex numbers. You know, it's just enough to give you a headache, right? But that's what you need. You cannot represent them in this way. So what does it mean? That there is a deeper reality where the feelings and the fields exist, the meaning of information exists, and from that world, you have classical world where you can get classical information, and we think that the only world that exists is this world.